All right, so did he have a sense of humor? So uh, I'll let you judge. Uh, the following episode occurred. Uh, once I asked him, uh, how about monads? Because I knew he had a very, but for him, the great philosopher was Leibniz. I, I, I said, how about monads? Uh, they're, they're unaware of each other. Right. I, I said, I find, find this theory very strange that the universe is composed of nomads who have no information about each other. Right. They're called uh, windowless nomads. And uh, it seems to contradict common sense because we look around and we see an immense harmony. Everything seems to be working out pretty well. And uh, Leibniz's answer was that God imposed this harmony. So I, I asked him what he thought. So he said, Leibniz was wrong. Everything that happens, he says, it's obvious. Everything that happens affects everything else. I mean, this is, this is part of science. And he says, furthermore, Leibniz was wrong about everything. <laughs> <laughs> then he pauses and he says, but it's just as hard to be wrong about everything as it is to be right about everything. <laughs> now, he didn't crack a smile, but I thought that was a very amusing remark. <laughs> so I thought, well, he, he cracked a joke. Or did he? <laughs> or did he? I thought about that for a long time. Uh, I, was, I should have tested it more. I should, I should have cracked jokes in his presence from time to time, but I, I guess I was intimidated. Um, I did try some little bit of wit occasionally, and, and there was a hint of a smile. So I tend to think he had a sense of humor. I tend to think he had a sense of humor, but I'm not sure to this day.